And of course, we are counting down to the total solar eclipse here in North Texas. And we hope you can join us for our big watch party at the Primo Museum on Monday. Now, crews, they've been busy setting up viewing areas and those fences to accommodate about 7,000 people. Pro Museum officials, they tell us they've been planning for this special day for years now. So let's get to meteorologist Greg Fields. Greg, I know this is your thing, right? But this is big, this is monumental. Oh, this is huge, this is huge. And that's why the uh, cloud cover and the uh, visibility is gonna be a big, big issue for us. So we're hoping, we're keeping our fingers crossed as we head toward Monday there. But you see a little farther south, the. Uh, Chances for the partly to sunny skies or better, they're going to be very low. Once we uh, get south of I-20 heading down into central Texas, we're going to keep it right in the uh, medium range here across the uh, Metroplex. We will have plenty of high clouds around. Just how thick those will be, that's going to be the question and see if some of those lower clouds move in from the south and east. But here's what it looks like right now. The viewing information for you. Once that partial eclipse begins just after midday, we'll have a slim chance for a spotty shower to less than 20% with that coverage, and we will have the partly to mostly cloudy sky. And as the eclipse ends, we'll bump that rain chance up and then, then those rain and storm chances really ramp up late in the day well after the eclipse.